honestly, in environments where it's extremely hot, countries like Spain, I was coming to India, places where I'm shielding my eyes from the light and the rays of the sun. Uh, no, I do not wear sunglasses very often. Um, the reason being that I don't, I don't really see the need for them. I only really use it when it's uh, very bright or sunny outside. Um, I wear sunglasses when I go out during the day generally, if I'm not in school, because I really like wearing sunglasses. I wear sunglasses when it's really sunny outside. Usually I'm not wearing it in the evening or when there's no sun. I prefer wearing my sunglasses usually that's because it makes me feel more superior and more confident about my physical attributes and generally when I go out into my friends. Uh, when I wear sunglasses I feel like I'm I'm a separate person or I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not part of what's going on around me because uh, I'm not conversing with anyone through my eyes, I'm not making any eye contact or at least the other person doesn't know I'm looking at them. When I wear sunglasses, I I feel protected and I have a, I can hide myself behind the sunglasses. So do you feel more confident about I it? I feel more confident and I also feel more more safe because I don't have to face the reality like directly, especially when I when I am traveling in the city or and it's really loud and. No, easy and stressy, then I put the sunglasses so I can go a little bit more into me. The eyes obviously reveal a huge amount about people's responses, their relationship to you, their, of how genuine they are in their response and their behavior. I think we can glean a huge amount simply from not only nonverbal communication, but in that nonverbal communication, the eyes tell a huge amount of the story. And I think having that part of your body shielded behind this essentially protective, protective uh, case, if you will, or protective, uh, protective exterior, uh, does make conversation more challenging because you question maybe the sincerity or how genuine or the impact that your message is really having on the person. So I think it's in some ways a difficult point because it creates an inequality and imbalance in the relationship between the parties of conversation. Yeah, I mean, if there there are some people who wear it like in all occasions, right? They'll even be wearing sunglasses indoors. Those people, I just, um, and I, I find that a little annoying because, yeah, I mean, in terms of if you're ever trying to communicate with them or have a conversation with them, it's like, oh, wow, <laughs> why are you wearing sunglasses and it's indoors, it's not even bright outside. Um, you don't really feel like you're having a proper conversation and um, you need to have the eye-to-eye -eye contact with them when you're talking, so. Nor do I like wearing sunglasses while talking, nor do I want someone else to wear it while I'm ha having a conversation with them. I think sunglasses reflect, um, which is ironic, but they reflect a very skewed perception of whoever's wearing them. Generally, there's always a shady connotation to people who wear sunglasses, like stalkers or mystery detectives or spies or something because you never really know who they are inside and yeah it's just it's harder to converse and to get to know them and to even go up to them and start or initiate a conversation. You had a song to sing for the camera? <laughs> <laughs> yeah it reminded me of this 80s song called I wear my sunglasses at night, so I can. So I don't know the rest of it, but. <laughs>